As we continue our live election coverage, we're turning our attention to the ballot issues. According to an attorney general explanation, Amendment G would establish a constitutional right to abortion in South Dakota and provide a legal framework to regulate it. Kettleland's Julia Lynn is covering Amendment G and joins us live in downtown Sioux Falls. Good evening. Yes, I'm at the Icon Lounge in Sioux Falls, where Dakotans for Health are making last minute calls to voters, encouraging them to vote yes on Amendment G. And both parties for and against G were out door knocking and doing rallies as a final push over the weekend. For example, a vote yes side walk down Phillips Avenue with signs and their group believes the state's current abortion ban is too extreme as it has no exception for rape or incest. They believe people should be in charge of medical decision, decisions like abortion. The vote no side, the Life Defense Fund also did some door knocking and campaigned in recent days. They say Amendment G is too extreme and would cause a lot of uncertainty, argue it could even deny parents the right to know when their underage daughter is undergoing an abortion. And I'll be covering Amendment G throughout the night and keeping you updated and monitoring it as the polls close. For now, porting live in Sioux Falls, Julia Lynn, Kelloland News.